Hello! In this video I'm gonna show you how to enable Do Not Disturb mode and explain all of its properties on your Samsung Galaxy A13. But it also works the same way on any Samsung Galaxy A series like Samsung Galaxy A53, A13 as I mentioned, A12 and etc. So in order to access Do Not Disturb mode we'll need to go to our settings scroll down and find notifications. From here scroll down again and go to do not disturb. From here you can either enable or disable the setting and what it does it will uh, prevent all calls, all notifications and messages from reaching your phone to not disturb you. And you can enable it and we have a few options right here. So you can add the schedule. So for example right now there's one as code sleeping and it enables every day from 10 to 7 next day and uh, it allows us to sleep nicely without any interruption from our the, from the calls or notifications and the next options are exceptions which you can uh, customize allowance for uh, for the calls or messages to reach you so if you press on calls messages and conversations you can co customize it further. So here, go to the calls and you can select who will reach you. You can select all, contacts only, or your favorite lists only. So for example, I'm gonna choose none because I prefer no one to call me uh, when I'm in this mode. You can enable repeat callers. So if someone really tries to reach you, uh, your phone will start vibrating if he if someone calls you like multiple times in a span of 15 minutes you can do the same thing as with calls but with messages and conversations you can change to co priority conversations or all the next option is alarm and sounds and you can basically disable or enable uh, all of these settings right here like alarms so no alarms will be ringing while your DND let's establish that do not disturb mode is a shortcut there's a shortcut for it uh, and it's DND so if you enable or disable alarms it won't they won't ring when uh, you're in this mode you can enable or disable media sound which works the same way and everything here like touch sounds, calendar events or reminders. You can select specific apps. Uh, so when you actually have an app, you can you won't be disturbed while using it. So for example here we don't have audible but I think it's very useful for audible because if you want to listen to an audiobook you can uh, add it and then Nothing will disturb you while listening. And that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a like and a comment below.